Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about installing the Synology Drive client on a Mac. So if you don't have a Synology Drive installed on your Synology NAS, um, I have a video, I'll put a link in the description, it's called Upgrading from the Synology Cloud Station Server to Synology Drive. And you can just do the procedure in that to install Synology Drive, it's pretty much the same thing. And then once you have that installed, you can install the clients on your machines. So first thing we need to do is download the Synology Drive client. So if you go into Google or your search, you can type Synology Drive Client Download. And you'll come to the Synology Download Center. You can click on that. And then you can enter in that you have a NAS. And you can enter your product in. I have a 918. Although it's probably going to have the same uh, software for most versions. And then we can click on Desktop Utilities here. And if we scroll, scroll down, we'll see this drive, and they have Windows, Mac, Ubuntu. So I'm on a Mac, so I'll click on the Mac one, and it will download. Then we'll go, go into our Downloads folder, and we'll double-click on this. And double-click on this. And we have the installer. We'll click Continue. Continue. Read through this. Make sure you read every single word of this. And then it will ask for your password. And then we'll hit close. I'll say move to trash. I can close all of this now. And it'll say welcome to drive. We'll hit start. And it'll ask for your domain name or quick connect ID. And I'm gonna type in the IP address of my NAS. But if you have Quick Connect set up, this would be a good place to enter in your Quick Connect um, account. And then it wants a username and password from the Synology. And I have enable SSL data encryption uh, checked. It was checked by default, and I'll leave it checked. I'll hit Next. And it says, do you wish to switch to Quick Connect? And I'm going to say not now, but I would recommend that. And it says the SSL certificate is not trusted, and I'll say proceed anyway. And then I will hit next. And now this is asking if we want to enable syncing a shared with me folder, and I'm using this personally, um, so I don't want that, but you could use it. Um, I'm gonna say maybe later, and I'll hit done. And it says I'm done and ready to use drive, I'll hit next. And it says there's a little icon up here at the top. I'll hit next, and you get you can click on a shareable link next to an item. And we can, uh, you can right click on a file and create a share link. And you can drag and drop data to sync. So I'll open the folder. And actually, I'll show you how to do that too. So if, if you go up to the little menu up here, you can click on the folder here. And this will open the folder. And if you have multiple folders, it will bring a little list up. And then you can pause it. So if you dragged like five gigabytes of files to your folder and it was taking a long time to sync and you were wanting to do something else, you can pause this here and then come back and um, start it back up later when you have uh, idle time on your computer. And then in the lower left here, we can click on drive and this will open the, the web interface to your drive. And then you can enter your username and password. And then on the bottom right here, we have some things like help, about, sync tasks, logs, notification, global settings, and exit. So right now we have this drive up here. If we go up and click global, global settings, we'll get to that same page that came up by default. So that just came up because we just started it. So if we look through these settings here, you have start drive upon user login, which we typically want. And then it says, choose default action when relinking occurs. It says, locally deleted files will be refetched from your NAS, and locally deleted files will be removed from your NAS. So the way I'm going to use this is I'm going to have this on different machines so I can transfer things back and forth easily. And I want to delete files. You may want to keep your files. And it says, choose a file version conflict solution. Keep the latest modified version. Um, that's what I want there. And it says, rename to keep the discarded version. Go to notifications. It says, Show desktop notifications or file events for display. 
It says show tips next time display is launched. I want to turn that off. I don't need that every time. And it says toolbar icon style. Use the minimalist system tray icon. I want that. And it says display style local folder. Show icon overlay for file status. Show icons for unsynced files. And show context menu for files and folders. So I do want all those features. And then there's a proxy over here, which I'm not using. And then if we go up to notifications, uh, there are no not notifications right now, but they would show up here. And then logs will show things that have occurred. Like these are the four files I have on there when they were um, added, it looks like. And then sync tasks. We have my drive, and you could add other um, drives on here. But this is just the default. So, so like I said earlier, we can go up to this menu, and we can click on the little folder here to open up your Synology drive. You can also open up your finder here. And in your user directory, you'll see a Synology drive folder. And that's the same folder. So if we drag a file over to there, you'll see this little icon here. And that's the uh, sync icon. And I'll drag another one over here. So these are syncing. It should sync pretty quick. I don't know. There we go. And then you can right click on these and you can say uh, browse previous versions. If you have multiple versions, you can say create a sharing link. So if you right click on that, that will create a link that you could send off to um, you know, a friend, family member, coworker to access this file remotely. And if we go up here to the online version of Drive, you'll see the files we just added are here. So we could open these in the web interface. It's kind of hard to see because this actually has a transparent background, but that's the file. It would normally look better. I'll open this one here. It's a car. And then uh, let's see, these movies will. It looks like the movies will play in the browser if you have like this MP4 movie. So if say you uh, want to remove this now from your computer, what you can do is go into your applications folder and then find Synology Drive and right click on it and say show package contents and then go into the contents folder and then shared support and we'll see the remove Synology Drive and we'll right click on that and we'll say copy and I will paste this to the desktop and double click on it and it will say run or quit so I'll run it'll ask for my password and now Synology Drive is off my computer so now I can drag this to the trash and get rid of it so I no longer have Synology Nest now this is on the files are still on the server so you, if you wanted the files deleted you need to do that before you delete the Synology Drive client, but that's how you delete it. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.